The Valentine's Day season is upon us, so you want to find that right movie and you also want to know which ones to avoid. So Bob, what is one of your picks? Going to go with Nora Ephraim, a late great writer-director with Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah, it's sappy, but the brilliance of it is it makes fun of sappy movies all the way around. Still the perfect sappy, perfect movie. My pick is the French film Amelie. This is one that you can put on at any time, but especially mm -hmm. during Valentine's Day, just to have just light, easy breezy entertainment that's going to entertain everyone. It's so good. So yeah, good. it really is. What would you have for an off-kilter pick? Something a little bit different. I'm the minority of people that really love Punch Drunk Love. I think it's Adam Sandler's best work. Paul Thomas Anderson's the writer and director. And uh, you know, it follows this very strange story that goes in a thousand directions. Uh, Anderson tries to do this unique thing where he tries to make you feel the sense of being in love at the same time of embracing this goofy story. I'm also going with oh, Punch Drunk wonderful. Love. Yeah, it's a it's a weirder movie, it's more dramatic. It's one of my favorite Adam Sandler films yeah. and Paul Thomas Anderson films. Absolutely. All right, bad stuff. What, what, what do you got? Mine is The Breakup. <laughs> it was advertised as this sort of funny comedy between Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn. It gets very serious and depressing, so you throw this on during Valentine's Day and you, it's not going to be a, the greatest date you're going to have. See it with someone you want to break up with. Exactly. And that's my point with Blue Valentine, a <laughs> film that was praised by critics, got a lot of Oscar nods. I don't know the point of this movie. I hate it, hate it, hate it. See it with somebody you hate. Yeah. <laughs> you can't find a higher recommendation exactly. than that. Yeah. <laughs> to see what's playing in St. Joe, read St. Joe Live in Friday's edition of the St. Joseph News Press or go online to stjoelive.com. On Tuesdays, you can catch me at the Friends Front Row Film Series at the East Hills Library Theater. And you can join us next week. We have a bunch of reviews coming up. John Wick Chapter 2, Lego Batman, and Fifty Shades Darker. It's going to be a big week, so uh, join us next week. Until then, we'll be live at the movies. See you later. See you.